Hi everybody, uh, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to pick up right where we left off. So, now, we're going to start small and build from there. So we did a very simple test um, and we learned about a little bit about conditionals that if this has to be, the condition has to be met or has to be true before anything underneath in the body can be done. So now, let's start with something simple with a testing a number so we're gonna in, be in the script so now let's just keep this simple so now we're gonna test to see if a number is positive or negative and we're gonna build slowly so so let's think of how we would describe a number let's just start how would you describe a positive number so it has to be greater than zero so we just learned about greater than and less than operators so uh, just to remind you this is how we create our own functions um, you can go and look at one of my uh, other videos I think there's two on functions right now but um, just go and look up how to build how to how to create a function so keyword def name of the function if it's going to take in any stuff right now we're going to take some stuff in and you've got to have your colon so if x is greater than zero let's just have it say print out positive so and we learned about our handy dandy else statement else print save this run it so all right let's do some testing make sure we did this right okay positive num positive negative uh oh i don't think we thought of all our conditions What happens if it's zero? Uh oh. So right here, our condition was if it is greater than zero, print out positive. Else, print out negative. So this is not exactly quite right. So why don't we copy this, paste it? comment this out change this just a little bit remember how we do if something's equal to is zero now let's tweak this just a little bit doing here is I'm building in all right so this is the way this is the way you read this this is kind of like a nested loop so all right first check and see if it's equal to zero if it is print out zero else kick down here because I don't want to quite get into um, another term yet. We're going to build on that next time. Uh, it's good. We're going to learn about a new keyword for conditions. But right here, let's just keep this pretty clean and simple. So, else, if this condition is not met, if it's not zero, if it's not in the middle, come down here and do this. Then, check and see if it's greater than zero, if not positive else if it's not so you don't have to think of every single condition so all right this is one thing i want you to think about when you've had a computer program crash right we all have what that means is a condition was not met and the 
and the computer program threw up. So let's say, I mean, just like that right there. Name error. Name error. Some error happened. I didn't have a condition that I thought of. I did not think of every single possible outcome and the program crashes. So right here, let's just stick within our two keywords that we learned, our two conditionals, if and else, and uh, we'll build on that. So thanks for watching. Hope you're getting something out of this. See you next time.